everyone. This is Take Two by Opal Kids, your place for occupational therapy information and tips in two minutes. I am Alia Drakes, Children's Occupational Therapist and the Director of Opal Kids. In today's Back to Basics episode, let's talk about what we do in an occupational therapy session. To the casual observer, an OT session might just look like a bunch of play. There are toys, cool pieces of equipment, lots of crafts, and it can get messy. And you know what? You would be right. OTs use play because it's a child's greatest occupation and it's more motivating for them. And we know that children do better when they're motivated, right? But what you don't see is the scientific process behind the play. In occupational therapy, an activity is not just an activity. We use our knowledge of the occupational therapy process anatomy and physiology, even psychology in every session. With any activity, whether it's chosen by the child or the occupational therapist, we're constantly observing and evaluating to ensure that the activity helps to develop certain skills. We needed to provide the right balance between accomplishment and challenge so that your child can be one step closer to meeting his or her goal. So when your child is using Play-Doh, for example, we're going to be looking at the quality of the fine motor skills, their sensory processing skills, their cognitive skills, or maybe even their attention, depending on what we're doing in that activity. Feel free to ask your occupational therapist any question you might have about the activities that we do. And as always, contact us for more information. And that's a wrap for this episode of Take Two. Bye.